What's up guys? Welcome to G Whiskey. My name is Jeff. This is a channel where I offer my thoughts and opinions on a specific whiskey and once in a while I'll throw in other whiskey related content. Today we're going to be doing a list. I want to go over 10 affordable whiskeys that whiskey snobs love. Stick around. So 10 affordable whiskeys that us whiskey snobs absolutely love. I know you guys love your lists and they're always fun to put together. So I figured this would be a great topic and I'm organizing it a little bit differently than my previous lists. Usually when I make these lists, it's organized by like preference, least favorite, most favorite, that kind of thing. Today we're going by price. So I'm starting with the cheapest and we're finishing on the most expensive. And the thing about this video is I'd initially planned on it to just be a regular list video. But I figured that as we're now mid-November, as Christmas is kind of on the horizon at this point, this would be great as like a Christmas gift giving guide because affordable whiskeys that whiskey snobs love, that's perfect for Christmas. Because the thing about us whiskey nerds is that we already know a lot, or at least we like to think we do. Uh, it's our passion. We've bought a lot of whiskey. We've tried a lot of whiskey. So buying a gift for us, a whiskey based gift for us at Christmas can be daunting, especially if you're not part of that world. But the fact is, we don't always need super premium, super expensive, rare, exotic, 18 plus year old whiskeys. Of course, those are nice, but a lot of us are very happy with a high quality, budget friendly offering. And luckily, there are plenty out there. I've got 10 today. Now, these are single malts, so they're not cheap, cheap. And of course, affordable is a relative term, but they shouldn't break the bank. Not only are these all relatively affordable, but they're also standard releases. So they should be pretty widely available. You guys should be able to track at least some of these down at your local whiskey shop, liquor store, online merchant, whatever. And don't worry, even the number one on this list, which is going to be the most expensive, isn't too over the top. It isn't too fancy. It isn't priced like an 18 year old or anything. Most of what's on this list, well, actually everything that's on this list should be priced comfortably under about 75 US dollars, give or take. Now, obviously, markets vary wildly, prices vary wildly, uh, and some of you might have to pay more than that. And that sucks. Now, I didn't base these prices off of what I pay here in Taiwan. Instead, I based them off of what's being charged on the big UK-based online whiskey retailers, and they do kind of set the standard for a lot of international markets, but I'm sure your market is different, so let me know what you're paying down below in the comments. Anyway. Yeah, uh, if you're a whiskey snob or if you're buying a gift for a whiskey snob, these are all affordable whiskeys that they should get along with. Uh, even if they happen to have had these before, it's always nice to come back to an old friend. Now, uh, stick around after I've gone through the list. I do have a mystery pour in my glass. I'll let you guys know what that is. It's another affordable, fantastic whiskey that I thoroughly enjoy. It didn't quite make the list, but it would still make a great gift. And I guess that's it. Let's not waste time. Let's jump into our list. We've got 10 affordable whiskeys that whiskey snobs enjoy. So we'll kick things off with the cheapest whiskey on this list. And number 10, I've got the Lejeg Rioja Cask Finish. Obviously very affordable. It's a beautiful whiskey. It's cheaper than the 10 year old and maybe even just as good, maybe even better. I will be reviewing it soon. Anyway, our Rioja here is quite a smoky whiskey, so if you're buying it as a gift for someone, you might want to check to make sure that they like that peaty, smoky style of whiskey. If they do, they're very likely to enjoy this one. Again, I think it's fantastic, um, and you can enjoy the fact that you didn't have to spend too much money on it. So at number 10, we've got the Lejeg Rioja Cask Finish. At number 9, we've got another very affordable whiskey that us whiskey nerds love. I've got the Glen Cadam 10 here. This one is light, it's floral, it's delicate, it's absolutely loaded with character. It's a gorgeous whiskey. This one's quite famous in the world of whiskey for being one of the best bang for buck single malts out there and it's well deserved. I adore this whiskey. I've gone through several bottles myself. I'm always happy to come back to it and it would be a perfect gift to give someone. So number nine, we've got Glen Cadam 10. At number eight, we've got a single malt that's been making a whole lot of noise on the whiskey scene over the last maybe two years or so. This one is the Aaron 10. This is an interesting, complex, engaging whiskey at a damn good price. This one has been winning awards and getting loads of praise from whiskey lovers all over the world. Every experienced whiskey drinker that I know, or pretty much every experienced whiskey drinker that I know, absolutely adores this stuff. Even if they've had it before, they're always happy to come back to a bottle. That's true of myself as well. It's a great whiskey. At number eight, we've got Aaron 10. 
At number seven, we've got a classic. This is a whiskey that is something I go way back with. I've loved it for a good 10 years. This is the Bonahaven 12. Uh, this one is sherried, it's earthy, and it's rich. This one is an Isla whiskey, but it's not a smoky whiskey. It's unpeated, but we still have a little bit of that rugged island character. This is a whiskey that has been respected by whiskey lovers for a very long time. It's still respected now, and it's something I'm sure a lot of them continue to enjoy. I certainly do at number seven, going to hop in 12. Number six might be a bit of a controversial one. A lot of whiskey lovers do really enjoy it, myself included, but a lot of people don't quite get behind it. It, it, it does have kind of like a, a loved or hated type character. Uh, this is the Burkhladi Classic Laddie. Now, it is getting better. The older ones had a reputation for, for being a little bit too sharp. It's much rounder now, but it still is a rugged and challenging whiskey. And speaking personally, that's precisely what I love about it. I think it's got a great character. It is one that I'll be reviewing in the coming months, but this is something that I would be happy to get as a gift. It's an interesting whiskey. So at number six, Brickladdy Classic Laddie. At number five, we've got another whiskey that a lot of people like. Oddly enough, this one is one that I do have a bit of a tough time with. I do like it, but I don't love it in the way that a lot of others do, although I do understand the appeal. This one is the Deanston 12. It's got a very unique, very floral character that a lot of experienced whiskey drinkers can't get enough of. And while I don't sing this whiskey's praises quite as loudly as a lot of other people out there, I should stress that I'm in the minority here. So many people love this stuff and I really like it too. I think it's fantastic. I would definitely love to get this as a gift. So at number five, we've got Deanston 12. At number four, we've got a whiskey that has had its ups and downs over the years. Uh, a lot of people talk about consistency problems. I've called them out on it myself, uh, but it's still a classic and I still enjoy this whiskey. At number four, we've got Ardbeg 10. Now, like I said, I've had a couple duds of this one myself, but the last bottle I bought, I thoroughly enjoyed, so they might be getting better. Or maybe it was a fluke. I guess you never know, but it's a classic. It's a legend. It's salty. It's rugged. It's coastal. It's medicinal. It's one of like the OG peated 10 year old Isla whiskeys. Uh, and if you're buying for someone who enjoys their peat, this is another solid option. So at number four, it's Ardbeg 10. So we've reached the top three on our list, but again, this list is not in order of preference. It's in order of ascending price tags. So top three in this case is not a good thing. Uh, in, <laughs> in retrospect, I might have reversed the order. Because top three most expensive whiskeys does not have a great ring to it. Um, yeah, this video was poorly planned. Now the good news is that while these whiskeys are more expensive than the rest of the list, as single malts go, they're still quite affordable. Uh, at number three, I've got one that, like the Ardbeg, is another classic. I go way back with it. This one is the Talisker 10 year old. Now this whiskey has seen some changes over the last couple years and not everyone is on board with those changes, but I still like it. This is gently smoky, it's peppery, it's rocky, it's coastal, and it's been a well-respected whiskey for many years now. It's got great flavors, it's still a very affordable whiskey. In fact, if I was basing this list on what I pay here in Taiwan, this would be much lower on the list. It's really cheap here, but as it stands, still pretty much affordable in every market, which is a good thing. So at number three, it's Talisker 10. So at number two, this is the second most expensive whiskey on this list, at least by UK prices. If I was going by Taiwan prices, this would be at number one. This is the most expensive whiskey here, and I still come back to it often. I still buy it. It's fantastic whiskey. This is the Port Charlotte 10. I'm not kidding when I say I don't know anyone who doesn't like this whiskey. As long as you're okay with Pete, you're not certain to, but you're probably really going to like this one. It's craft, it's punchy, it's peaty, it's fruity, it's complex. This is a hell of a whiskey, and I don't have a single bad word to say about it. Number two, Port Charlotte 10. So our number one slot is the one that's most expensive by UK prices, and that kind of shocked me because this would be like four or five here in Taiwan, maybe lower, but big online retailers have it for more, and I still think it's a good deal. This is a fantastic whiskey. In fact, it was my whiskey of the year last year. This one's the Craig Alkey 13. 
This one is a dirty, rugged, slightly challenging whiskey that's just brimming with character. It's not one that you fall in love with right away. It might take some time. Hopefully over time you start to warm up to the character, but when you do, it is such a rewarding pour. I absolutely love this whiskey and I'm glad it came in at number one, even though we're going by prices. This one would be very high on my list just in terms of preference anyway. It might be number one itself. Amazing stuff. Craig Alley, 13. All right, that's it. That is the list. We've got 10 affordable whiskeys that whiskey snobs love. Of course, let me know if I missed anything. Let me know what you would include on the list. Let me know if you disagree with any of these picks. I'm always happy to hear your feedback. Now, I know some of you stuck around to find out what the mystery pour in my glass is here. It's another great whiskey. I reviewed it a while back, thoroughly enjoyed it. This one is the Glenlivet 12 Licensed Dram. Now, this is a Glenlivet 12 that comes in at 48%. It is full flavored, it is rich, it's a lot more complex and engaging than your regular Glenlivets. The only reason I didn't include it on the list is because this is not a standard release. It is a special edition, but you should still be able to find it out there. And if you can, it's one I'd recommend. And I guess that's it for today, guys. That's the list. I know it's an incomplete one, so feel free to add to it. Feel free to let me know your thoughts. Again, feedback always appreciated here. Um, if you wanna help support the channel, please consider becoming a patron, otherwise you can like comment and subscribe and just a big thank you to everyone out there who watches these videos who supports the channel uh it's truly appreciated and now it's getting awkward we'll see you next time